Today we are going to discuss a finding on chest x-rays that can be very easily misdiagnosed and when it does it can cause patients a lot in terms of pain and suffering. The mistake is very easy to make and as a result of such misdiagnosis patients can potentially go through a treatment that is quite painful and is unnecessary. Unfortunately, the topic is so broad that it can take hours to discuss and understand and of course we do not have that much time. So I'll try to mention only a few important things that can help. So this time we have a few x-rays in front of us and included among them a normal chest x-ray PA view. On a normal chest x-ray PA view, you should be able to see overall volume of both lungs. Each lung appears as somewhat triangular shaped organ. A triangular shape organ. Both lungs as you can see are filled with air which gives them this um, radiolucent appearance on x-ray. In plain English makes them somewhat black so to speak. So through these uh, radiolucent organs you can see these uh, blood vessels, vascular markings, bronchial markings and parenchyma markings as well. In particular blood vessels appear as branching as a branching tree with the main branches arising from the hilum and then they get smaller and smaller towards the periphery. Now you should see these markings within 2 cm of peripheral lungs and after they become difficult to visualize on a chest x-ray. If you don't see these markings then the x-ray is not normal. Okay, on this x-ray we can see a very thin but a distinctly visible opaque line running along the lateral side of the lung and there are no vascular markings beyond that line and there is an increased lucency all along the lateral margin of the right lung. This is a very classical picture of pneumothorax. This is air within the pleural space. Visceral pleura has moved medially. It is normally quite lateral. It is very close to parietal pleura and the space between visceral pleura and parietal pleura uh, is should not be visible as you can you can see on the left lung the space between visceral and parietal pleura should not be visible it is visible in this case because the visceral pleura has moved medially and is now visible please note and keep in mind a couple of things here that the visceral pleura is paper thin as you can see here and is uniform in size all over and it is continuous as far as you can see it in pneumothorax is more commonly seen on the lateral side of the lung and is somewhat crescent in shape if this pneumothorax was very very small you would see a perfect crescent shape a large pneumothorax is likely to collapse the whole lung rather than part of, of, of the lung. So if this pneumothorax gets any bigger, it will collapse the whole lung. And I do have uh, an expiratory film of this patient, the same patient. And this x-ray has been taken in expiration. As you can see, the whole lung is collapsing rather than part of the lung. The third x-ray has a big pneumothorax on the left side in left lung. You cannot miss it. Also you can see how small left lung has become. Now because of absence of vascular markings the ribs, ribs and scapula are visible with much more details than they would normally. Also note because there is a total collapse of lung you cannot see visceral pleural line clearly but the outer line is definitely is definitely visceral pleura. On a side note, uh, this X-ray also shows uh, some warning signs that you should note. Uh, the trachea is shifted towards the right side. the The whole heart is shifted towards the contralateral side, which is the right side, and we cannot see uh, aortic shadow or the shadows of major vessels. Major vessels are compressed. This is a tension pneumothorax. Uh, it is uh, a life-threatening condition and should be treated urgently. So very similar findings at least in left upper zone. Uh, so what do you think that is? If you thought it was a pneumothorax you would be absolutely wrong. And this is where people very frequently go wrong. And this is what known as a bulla. 
and this is a very large one and there are quite a few differences between a bulla and a pneumothorax. A bulla is an air-filled space within the lung parenchyma which is created due to the destruction of alveolar wall distal to terminal bronchioles. A bulla is not an acute condition. It is not air within the pleural cavity unlike in pneumothorax. It is uh, an air-filled space within lung parenchyma. Visceral pleura is still intact. It is somewhere here in this case. A bulla can be congenital, means was present at birth or can also be a complication of COPD. Please remember that differentiation can be very very difficult on conventional radiography as a bulla and pneumothorax can coexist. So a CT scan is required to confirm the diagnosis. However, there are a few clues here that and a few things that can help. Please note that there are a couple of lines here that mimic visceral pleura but they are they are certainly not visceral pleura. Note that Note that they are not uniformly paper thin and this one is sort of discontinuing here. There is a compression on the adjacent lung or rather than collapse of the lung which happens in a pneumothorax. A pneumothorax would normally start laterally and should create an extrinsic pressure on the whole lung if it is getting bigger and bigger and will collapse the whole lung rather than the lower lung parenchyma alone undisturbed and this is probably the outer boundary of the bulla as you can see two distinct uh, lucencies here this is more lucent than this area and this is where the line this line is breaking this is probably the uh, one of these two lines may be anterior and one of the uh, the other one may be posterior so this is uh, these are the differences between um, a bulla and a pneumothorax so this one is a pneumothorax this one is a bulla on uh, in left lung this is another example this is a bulla rather than a pneumothorax and this one uh, if you note the diaphragms are flattened the uh, the heart looks smaller the lungs are elongated uh, they, they have increased volume so this is also a classical picture of COPD so this is not a normal x-ray even if this bulla was not present so this patient is suffering from COPD uh, emphysematous changes you know flattening of diaphragm and increased lung volume and people with uh, emphysema uh, can uh, or, or COPD can frequently have multiple bullet. Thank you very much.